Hi, I'm Minister Ralph Friedrichs. Making a difference is my belief. Here's my challenge to everyone. I just want to challenge everyone, a challenge I'm also trying to live out. No matter how busy you are, there is always something you can do to brighten someone's day. Give someone a hug. Send a text with an inspiring quote. Friends, mail a heartfelt card. Tell someone how much you appreciate him or her. If we look, each day presents us with opportunities to share kindness throughout the world. My core belief that we are called to not only love God and love people, but to carry out the Great Commission and share the eternal message of Jesus Christ. My goal is to help you reimagine your life and let go of the thoughts and behaviors that undermine you so that a renewed and fulfilled you can emerge starting today. We must love one another as God loves each and every one of us. To be able to love, we, my friends, need a clean heart. Prayer is what gives us a clean heart. The fruit of prayer is deepening of faith, and the fruit of faith is love. I hope each and every one of you remember to show compassion and have a, a great life ahead of you with Jesus Christ. Good morning, good morning, good morning. My name is Minister Ralph Friedrichs. Friends, it was an honor to accept the Presidential Volunteer Service Award a few months ago. Volunteering, a spirit which we can see all around our nation, is very much alive and still growing in America. Friends, it's no overstatement to say that America is a nation of volunteers. There's so many of us out there. I think philosophers might want to contemplate the question, why is the freest nation on earth also the one in which it is so common to see people from every walk of life, rich, poor, young, old, rolling up their sleeves and pitching in to help others? Maybe it's just the uh, that uh, we want to say thank you to the Lord who blessed our country with a thing, a thing called freedom. And the best way to do uh, that is to care for our fellow human beings. And maybe that's why surveys say that most Americans agree that no matter how big and no matter how powerful government gets and how many services it provides, it can never take the place of volunteers. That's a fact. Like America's volunteer spirit, my passion mission is to continue to grow, reaching out to help more and more people, maybe even you watching and listening to me. I remember years ago, a group of concerned mothers received an award for their efforts to co combat drunk driving. Since then, Mothers Against Drunk Driving, otherwise known as MAD, as they are known, has tripled in size, and now it has chapters in almost every state of the union. I don't think there's any question that it has been largely their energy and determination that has helped bring about a significant drop in fatalities due to drunk driving in this country. This is the drive that I also possess. My mission started with a simple blog over 10 years ago. That blog turned into the Take Your Life Back Today, uh, uh, Today show not radio show, but today's show on YouTube. Um, and uh, that uh, turned into a Samuel Cast podcast on iHeart Radio, iTunes, and Google Music. Over those last 10 years, I have written seven books and donated many of them to libraries for folks to rent and read at no cost. This is what we Americans can do for each other, volunteer to provide hope for a better tomorrow. Friends, brothers and sisters watching and listening to me. It is never too late to start caring and helping others. So why don't you start today? Thank you all very much for whatever you do to help other people in this nation or throughout the world. And may God bless each and every one of you. And we'll talk to you guys soon again. And remember, God truly loves you as much as anything in the world.